I'm back in New York City, but I forgot my audio. So you probably can't hear me. Or I'm probably just doing a little bit of a voiceover thing here. New mic, let's get home, make something cool. This is not what I wanted to come home to. <laughs> this is the beauty of 3D printing right here. So after that huge, huge mess, I ended up getting it to print by splitting the file in half. No shame in that. Now I need to get these two pieces bonded together. I'm gonna be using 3D glue to make that happen, so let's get it done. All right, so uh, here's just a quick update. I was trying to use some Sharpies. I thought this would really work and uh, give me a nice look for this, but it's just, uh, it's really coming out streaky and not working well. This might work decent for some folks, but it's just really not working for me on this, which stinks. So I'm gonna actually have to paint this, I believe. Uh, so I'm gonna brush out, bust out some black paints and uh, yeah, get going on this. All right, so I'm just getting started with the acrylic paints. I'm just using some really cheap folk art acrylic paint that you can pick up at Walmart or Michaels or any of, basically this is the 99 cent acrylic paint. This is working so much better than the Sharpies were. The, the Sharpies were just really streaking and not really laying down flat and even. Uh, the acrylic paint is just working phenomenally. So I'm just gonna continue going through this and uh, try to get this painted as close as possible to what we see in the show. One issue that I have is I don't exactly have acrylic paint that matches the blue. There's actually little spots of blue in the mask as well on the sides. Uh, so what I'm gonna try and do is see if I can make that shade of blue. Uh, we'll see. If not, I have some airbrush paint that I might attempt to use. This is a lot more watery than than, or runny than the acrylic, acrylic paints, so we'll have to see how this goes. Maybe if anything, I lay down the acrylic and then put the darker blue over top of the lighter blue, that might work out well. We'll see. Here is the Jigsaw Mask from Dare, from Daredevil, from Punisher season two. I'm still obsessed with Daredevil and a little upset that it's still not on Netflix. But here is this ridiculously cool mask. This was designed and in collaboration with Wexker. Uh, if you're not familiar who this guy is, he makes some ridiculously cool figurines as well as statues here. This is the Joker bust that he made uh, just a handful of weeks ago towards the end of the year. This thing blew up online. Uh, amazing file, absolutely amazing file. But I'm here to talk to you guys about this mask. So this is the Billy Russo mask from, uh, from I keep wanting to sing Daredevil, from Punisher season two. I haven't had a chance to see the new season yet and it just started today. I'm recording this on Friday. Uh, and I'm very, very excited. As soon as I saw the teaser trailers for this, I knew I had to have one of these masks. So I reached out to uh, Wexer and 
asked him if he could actually, I, I know this wasn't his foray that he's used to modeling in, but if he was interested in trying to design one of these masks here, uh, I could have very easily run out to uh, Hobby Lobby or Michael's and bought a masquerade mask and painted that. And for those of you out there that don't have 3D printers, that is a viable option for you if you're looking to do this jigsaw cosplay. Uh, but I wanted to do something that was 3D printed, and here are the results. I ended up using acrylic paints. I started started off, uh, as you guys saw in the video there, with using Sharpies, and that really did not work out well. As soon as I cut over to acrylic paints, man, oh man, did that work out really nicely. I ended up having to do a bunch of sanding on this, not a ton of sanding, but a good amount. I probably could have done a little bit more filling and sanding to reduce the seam line from where I joined the two parts together. Uh, and speaking of joining the two parts together, let's just say I had a few issues printing this in one piece over on my CR-10. And by a few, I mean a lot. Uh, I had a one, two, three, four, five, I think six different failed prints <laughs> while trying to print this and they all pretty much failed right above the eye. I was trying to print this vertically on the CR-10 all in one piece using very minimal amount of supports and it just would not stay put no matter what I did on the printer. Uh, I'm sure some of you out there, if you try to print this yourself, you'll be able to, to get this to actually print and work for you guys in one piece. I was was, I should mention I should mention that I was able to print it all in one piece on the Rays 3D N2 Plus and I honestly believe that's because the build plate doesn't move back and forth like the CR10 it does uh, with the Rays 3D just the print head itself is moving around and this just lowers so it was a little bit easier to get this to print and to stay on the print bed versus the CR10 where it just kept getting knocked loose which really stunk I wasted a ton of filament trying to get this going so that's when I decided you know what I'm sick of this, I'm going to split the file in half, print it flat, and it worked out perfectly. And then I just joined the pieces together. I used some 3D gloop to make that happen so that nothing's getting dislodged or moving anywhere. Then use some wood filler to fill the seams and sand out the rough edges. And then just use some primer filler for that. And I found some white primer filler paint, spray paint. And that, uh, again, since this was white, it made it super easy to get going with this project. Uh, outside of the printing time, uh, this is really something that you could probably do in a day, maybe two days tops, maybe even th at the most three days, including the printing time. So if you're looking for a really quick and easy cosplay, this is a really good opportunity for you out there. I mean, you can throw on a black hoodie, throw on a black jacket, get some jeans on, uh, get yourself a fake toy gun, and then make yourself a mask and paint it, and you're good to go being Jigsaw for an upcoming con or whatever it is that you're interested in going to dressed up as this delightful character known as Billy Russo on the TV series. So if you're interested in printing one of these masks for yourself, I'll have a link to Wexker's file over on My Mini Factory. A lot of his files are available on My Mini Factory. He also has a Patreon and a YouTube channel, and I'll have all of his links to his social medias as well as to this file in the description down below. Please, please, please go check this dude out. He does some ridiculously cool designs, especially those cool little figures. Uh, specifically reached out to him. I figured this would be something a little different for him, and it would be a fun project for me to work together with him, and I was super excited excited to, to actually get to print this and share it with you guys today. Uh, super quick video for you guys, but I just want to say thanks again for watching. Uh, like, subscribe, let me know down in the comments what you're thinking of Punisher Season 2. I haven't started yet. I'll be starting it probably after I finish editing this video, so no spoilers, please. But I just want to say thanks again for watching, and I will see y'all next time. Bye now, Frank! I don't know how to act all uh, jigsaw-y, jiggy. Uh... Super creepy though. You gotta like, just not say anything. <laughs>